how to turn your photos into cartoons in Canva. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can turn any photo into a cartoon in Canva. So let's get started. Now Canva has several different AI tools that help you in converting different photos into cartoons. So for this, first off, you can directly go into upload or go into custom size, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to open up a blank presentation canvas for this. And on the top right, we're just going to name this. Now, once we've done that, we're going to click on uploads on the left, click on upload files. Once we click on upload files, we're going to upload the image that we want to convert into a cartoon. So I'm just going to find the image that I want. And let's say it's this image over here and I'm just uploading that. Once our image is uploaded on the left, we're going to select our image. Now, when you select your image, you can see a edit tab on the top right. This includes some Magic Studio tools, including Magic Grab, Magic Expand, and more. You also have filters, effects, and then different apps. An easier way to access the app of your desire is simply by going into apps on the left. And once you go into apps on your bottom left, click on the search bar and search for Cartoonify or just search for cartoon. And you're going to see this application called Cartoonify. Click on Cartoonify over here and then click on open. Once you click on open, the Cartoonify application will be opened. Now click on Cartoonify and replace. And I have already selected the image. You will just have to click on your image in the canvas. And we're waiting for the image to be cartoonified. Now our image has been cartoonified. And you can see that this is our basic cartoonified image. Now, there are several different alterations in Cartoonify. So you don't have to necessarily use this particular application. There are others that can help you in building different types or styles of cartoons. For example, I'm going to take the same image again. And what you're going to do this time is you're going to go into apps on the left. And once you go into apps, you can search for anime. And once you search for anime, you will see anime style, image animate, animify. So you can go with either anime style or animify. And once you click on that, you're going to click on open. Once you click on open, the animify application is opened. And you're going to click on Animify and Replace and your image will be created into an anime cartoon instead of a regular cartoon. So let's wait for the results of that. And this is the anime version of our image. Now we have even more applications that we can actually try out. And you might say, what's the purpose of converting this into a cartoon? Well, that can actually help you in building different variations of images as well as building comics. If you're looking to add images to a presentation, but you don't want, you know, realistic images, your presentation theme is, you know, cartoon like images. So you can use these amazing filters. So like this, I'm just going to put these on the side so you guys have a comparison. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into apps once more and I'm going to show you guys the anime style application and then I'm going to click on open and over here I can describe the image that I want. So I can basically describe the image that I have and then have a AI generated version of my real image, but this does not directly convert your image. Additionally, we can go back into apps if we want to do direct conversions into cartoons. You can go ahead and search for a cartoon and we have a cartoon filter. We also have reimagine. If you click on reimagine, you will have artistic variations of your portrait image. So you can click on open and your selected image will be converted into one of these. So you have different art styles. If you want art, sketch, arcane, cartoon, anime, or mystic, I want it to be cartoon. And once I do that, I can click on, I can use my image and then click on generate. And once I click on generate, it is now reimagining my image. So we're going to wait for this and you get, mostly you get one of these credits every day. So this is the AI generated image. It's not as accurate as I would hope it to be, but this is still a tool in training. If I use the selected image and go with the art style instead of the cartoon style, let's see what it does. 
For this particular tool, you get three credits every day. So you can basically reimagine images, three images every day. And you guys can see this is actually a really nice version. I would definitely, you know, want to expand on this and I can use Canva's generative expand to expand on this as well. Now, if you want to make a sketch version of your image, you can also do that by accessing your apps and you can search for Sketchify and you can even just search for sketch and you can click on photo to sketch over here and then click on open. Once you click on open, select your desired image. So you're going, going to have to re-upload your image here. And once you do that, you can choose the filter strength. And you can choose if you want a transparent background and then click on transform to sketch to transform your image. Once you've done that, you can proceed and we're just going to wait for our image to be converted. And just like that, we have the sketch version of our image as well. And once we have, you know, quite a few different variations, we can pick out the one that we like the best and we can proceed with that. We can also go ahead and remove the backgrounds for better conversions. So if you click on your image and then click on background remove, this will remove the background of your image and can be helpful when you are converting your image into cartoons because it has less detail in the background and can focus on the major part of your image. So if I, you know, convert it like this, my cartoonify might look slightly different and I will show you guys how. So we're going to go back into our original tool for cartoons. And we also have cartoonist, so we can turn text into cartoons. We also have cartoon filters. So we're going to click on open and this is going to convert it with a cartoonized version of our image. So let's wait for that to be completed as well. And you guys can see now it's pretty similar to the original cartoonized version, but yeah, it's almost the same. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Now, when you are building these cartoon images, don't just leave the images at cartoon images. You can go back into your home and you can utilize these in amazing presentations. To do that, you can just go into your presentation and let's say I'm building a presentation on art. I can proceed with adding, you know, my design here. So art changes everything. And let's say I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to add cartoonize images like this. So it really depends on how you want to structure everything and you can include these over here. You can also add a cartoon filter to make your images more secure or safe for people that do not want their images in the presentation, but they're fine with a cartoon version. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that I have taught you within this video. And make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well. And to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites. So I hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if I missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and I will catch you guys in the next video.